model mine 72 popping a cold one for all those who came before salute somebody say amen Uh, we're gonna get it in the garage take it start going through it probably gonna do a frame off restoration try to figure out which way we're gonna go with it uh, quick tip uh, I mean a quick uh, I just love this model I'm just letting everybody know this is one of my favorite all-time models the AMT 44 no matter if it's the sedan the coupe the delivery it's just absolutely awesome this is my first update on my United content creator 44 build group build that that we're having on Facebook a lot of guys are getting in on it this my friends is what you would call a glue bomb if there ever was a definition of a glue bomb this car is definitely it this is a like a it's a it's a vintage piece definitely somebody glued it um, I mean they just glob the glue on here trying to get this thing apart is absolute nightmare and um, I'm using all my skills and tricks of the trade to um, try to release some of this, this I mean, this gobs and gobs of glue, guys. Um, there's going to have to be a lot of body work done to this car to get it anywhere near what I hoped I was actually going to build with it. But I mean, they just glob the glue on everything, and um, it is an absolute styrene nightmare. Um, yes, I definitely can save it. Is it going to be worth the time and effort to do all the body work to get it to what I kind of envisioned the build to be? At this point in time, just starting out, I'm not exactly sure. But, um, I mean, I'm just, you know. Um, some of the things are like um, I'm having to take my razor knife and go very carefully in between the panels from the body and the fender, fenders and the running boards, trying to separate. Without, I'm trying to save the body as much as I can and trying to save the fenders as much as I can without damaging them. Sometimes when you get these glue bombs, there's so much glue on them that, um, you know, you, when you're taking them apart, I mean, you get like chunks, big pieces of plastic of chunks break off to the part point where they're not even, you know, it. I'm not, I'm not saying that you can't save it because I believe that I can fix anything and I can save anything. But then it comes down to your your time of how much time do you actually want to spend on a project to, um, <clears throat> you know, to get it completed. I mean, I definitely could start with another fresh 40 Ford and... Um, the build would be so much more easier and smooth. This is like, I mean, they, they glued these. Um, I don't even know what these are on the front here. There's prob They probably were like some kind of spotlights or something. But I mean, just you can see the glue, just gobs and gobs of glue. Just, um, you know, these, these fender skirts are really cool. I was thinking about leaving those on there, but man, they are cracked. 
they are cracked beyond belief and um i'm just gonna have i mean like i say it's gonna be a body man's filled day what look at that i mean it's just a lot of work is what i see in this particular build if if i go continue to go with this one it's going to be a lot of work now i could just make it like a weathered vehicle if i was going to go with a weathered type of vehicle this would be ideal so i'm not putting that out of the question because i still really don't know exactly which way i'm going to go with this car or this project but um i mean i had a couple of ideals but after running into everything that i've uh encountered with it so far i do have one other trick i'm gonna put it in the freezer and i'm going to allow it to get to a certain temperature and then i'm gonna come back in with my um my little screwdrivers and uh and everything and then i'm gonna try to pop it try to pop those joints those glue joints without um, desecrating the body too much and um depending on how i actually get it apart and what i end up with then it's going to kind of dictate what way i go if i go with just like a weathered beat up old ford it ain't going to matter matter of fact all this stuff's going to help seal the deal with that kind of style of a build but i really wanted to kind of do some kind of um I, I mean, I had a, I did have a sort of a vision build of what I wanted to do with this particular car, but I might have to end up doing that with another 40 Ford. Um, the Gambler, the 40 Ford pickup uh, drag truck is done, so I gotta, you know, I just got through building that 40 Ford, and then I'm building my my parts box build which is a Lindbergh 40 Ford uh, coupe so I'm I'm working on the frame of it so like I said I got including this one that's three 40 Ford projects going at the moment whoever built this I mean they didn't like they did no painting whatsoever they just kind of pretty much just glued the pieces together so maybe back then they were they were starting out or something and they didn't have paints maybe they just somebody gave them the kit and they just glued it together to the best of their ability having fun but let me tell you all these years later trying to get this glue trying to get all this glue off it is an absolute nightmare for um the type of project that i actually started out that i wanted to do with this but um like i say i can either grab another 40 ford and um kind of do that build or i can just keep hammering at this one and, and see what actually it turns out to be at the end you know uh i am having fun with it though i love i love the 40 ford just you know whether it's the pickup, the sedan, the coupe, or the delivery. I mean, I just love them. So, I'm still, you know, debating about what to do. So, this is part of my first update of my um, United Content Creator 44 group build starting out pretty rough guys pretty rough fat bastard brought this in and uh, it looked really rough on the trailer but you know i didn't know I, I mean i just once you start tearing it apart and getting into it you really realize i mean it's it's not it's not unsavable it's just do you want to spend that much time you know getting it back when you could just go get another a kit and start you know fresh and um have it built 
and um, you know twice the time that it would take to actually go back and do all the body work and everything to this one um, so there again just this is my first update and um, just starting to tear into this project to see exactly what you know I can make of it and um, want to thank you guys for watching and there again check out all the other guys builds um, I'm sure that um, they're going to be coming up with some really interesting really interesting uh, projects as well so um, this is Model Mind 72 saying peace love and happiness to all I'm going to go throw this um, body in the freezer and then I'm going to try to keep um, slowly pulling it apart um, and then I'll I'll, I'll uh, assess the project at that point in time and see exactly what way I want to go with it and um, we'll do we'll shoot some more video of course along our journey let you guys know exactly what's going on and where we're at and what we're gonna what our plan is all right this is my 72 saying over and out